Queen Shabaka. Hey, Queen Shabaka. Hi, Queen Maisha. So, this is the first night of our first show. Yes, our first show. This is exciting. It's going to be epic. It. Absolutely. This <laughs> week and every week, please tune in. Uh, we have a special guest, and we have Mr. Lewis here. Hi, Mr. Lewis. Hello, how you doing? Hey. I'm doing very well. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So, we're going to listen to your song. What song did you bring for us to listen to? I brought... A new generation, that's what it's called. New generation. All right, let's listen to it. Look, we came here to win, yo, we came here to win, yo, we came here to win, yo, we came here to win. It's a new generation. Generation. And we came here to win, yeah, we came here to win, yeah, we came here to win, yeah, we came here to win. This a new generation, generation, generation. We came here to win. Locks in consciousness. We plant base with the scholarship. Dr. Sadie raised higher frequencies. Please don't throw off my energy. Look how I set the tone. Pull out your camera phone. I'm kind of loud with it, but there ain't nothing wrong. I'm just a different soul in this vehicle. Trying not to crash. That's unbelievable. I know we all will. So enjoy the ride. It's a good day to be alive. You got to keep it true on either side. This kind of lifestyle, it should be glorified. Yeah, we more than high. That's how the Context. This is an elevated kind of mindset When we set in space, I know it's timeless I'm a living cell, kill the vibe It's a new generation Generation, generation It's a new generation Generation, generation, generation And we ain't got no time to be wasting Yo, I heard enough, look how long it's been This a new era and we can't look win You're not used to this, so let it settle in It's gonna take some time and you might lose some friends We trying to level up, you better join the club I can't be losing focus, hanging with no scrubs I swear it's love, but I raised my standards They didn't think I could, but I found an answer Along with nature, it works in your favor That's what God created, get those natural flavors That's a life savior when you need a cure They gon' feel this energy and that's for sure We got all this power and we need some more for this generation that we about to raise We gon' have them thinking about those better days We gon' build a culture that they want to praise It's a new generation New generation New generation That's a fact Yes 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 I love it I love it I love it Thank you Oh my goodness So You're a rapper Yes That's yes. what they call it Yes <laughs> Right And it's just it's because it's, it's just different, mm -hmm. you know. Like I want to call him a poet. I want that's what I was thinking. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, like you're a rapper, but poet. no, you're right. you're a poet, but you have like music to your poetry. Definitely, yeah. that's it's, how I started. I started off with poetry, and then I just transfer transferred it in onto beats. My goodness! Wow, those are some good beats. Yeah, too. the first time I, I heard him was on a Friday. On Friday, he was doing a show, mm -hmm. and I heard him rap, and I was like, I got to get him on a show. Like yeah. just, just the words, very powerful. You know, Thank very, you. very, very powerful. And now, how did you choose your name? Because I know you spell it, you spell it kind of different. And right, uh, Mr. Lewis. Lewis is my last name, okay. and then Mr. You know, my friend actually, his name is Glenn. He actually came up with the spelling for it, just so it wouldn't be just regular, you know. And he yeah. he did the apostrophe at the top, and I was just like, okay, that's yeah, we can go with that. Okay, so now how did you become a? I'm a, I'm just gonna call you a poet. Yeah. How did you become a poet? Um, just trying to get my thoughts on to the page and express myself. Just, you know, just expressing myself is really how I became who I am, you know. Okay. So how many years have you been, uh, been, been at it? Um, I've been doing this for six years now. Okay. Was there anything that, that, uh, that possibly happened to make you kind of like really get serious and really put this this music out there um i mean nah, nothing really happened i just just listening to music and just you know uh just being involved around just the lifestyle that i was that i was in um just how i how i was raised you know because i i actually grew up in it like just going to church and you know um just always just thinking 
about those types of things like God, you know what I mean? Always thinking about God, everybody always talking about God, everybody, you know, is just talking about these things. So it kind of just encompassed my whole just life, you know, and I just continue to reach for that, you know what I mean? Just in a way, just to to perfect myself, you know. Is that how the God mode, how did the God mode come into play? Oh yeah, God mode, that just came into play just Recently, that was this is the God mode thing was actually new. Um, like a lot of the people that I that I came to do music with, um, you know, that's just how we be talking, talking about God mode, just empowering each other, you know. So that's just how that came about, and it's just it's just encompass just being a creator, you know, creating on a daily basis, just being bold, you know, um, just being yourself, you know. Um, giving life to the world and just you know yeah just doing what you do so would you consider um your music like kind of like a spiritual type of type of like have spiritual vibrations and and undertones to it definitely definitely yeah, heck yeah. like empowering that's what i like to call yeah. it empowering uplifting absolutely just positive you know just all those just all those types of things yeah because i noticed you don't cuss that much nah in, in your in your raps, like yeah. my mom could listen to your raps. Yeah, definitely. You know, like yeah, I try to make it you know f so that everybody can listen to it. You know, mm -hmm. um, I used to cuss. I used to do a, it. Really started do at in downtown when I do street shows, mm -hmm. and then kids will be p walking by, grandmas, you know, certain people be walking <laughs> by, and I'm like, dang, you know, I don't yeah. want to just be you know cussing. It, it was just yeah. like you know, just kind of being mindful and respectful of just everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. So it kind of just went into my music, you know, and I was just. I thought, you know, if I didn't cuss, then I wouldn't have to ever do no radio edits and I wouldn't have to never, you know, do anything like that. You know, any and everybody can listen to it. So That's yeah. Good thinking. yeah, everyone can. Um, well now, what are you trying to achieve as, as a writer, as an artist with, with your music? Um, I really want to just continue to empower the minds of the people out here and, you know, just bring up my family, you know, rebuild my culture, rebuild my family, yes. bring my yes. family back That's together, right. you know, not like my mom and dad, you know, they divorced, but like just get the communication back, you know, just get the relationship back, just get us back, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just, you know, my, it was only me and my mom uh, and my dad, like it was just me, but, but I have five, I have five sisters and I have two brothers, you know, so I just, with my music, I just want to be able to just bring us all together really. Yeah, so you're kind of like an activist. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's uh, like I feel <laughs> so much when I when I hear your music and I yeah. see you. Like, like I said, an activist, a poet, a philosopher, uh, you know, all wellness kinda, guru. Because right. on your you talk about a lot about about fitness and mm -hmm. eating well and right, right, right. Definitely. Is that a passion you have? Or? Yeah, yeah, definitely a passion that I have. Um, I. I listen to Dr. Sebi. His name is oh, Dr. I Sebi. Love Dr. Sebi. And I like, love Dr. Sebi. for reals though. Yeah. And just you know, hearing his his uh, his message to the world kind of brought me back to my culture. You know what I mean? Because yeah. just growing up, you know how they used to always say to us, like, you know, oh, they stole your history and mm -hmm. they stole your culture and you was a slave and just all these things that I used to think about. Like, so when I heard Dr. Sebi, he, he kind of like would talk about how he healed all these diseases and. You know yeah. how we help people, you know, get b back to just their optimal selves, and just talking about, you know, the food and how it empowers our bodies. I was just like, man, you know, this is something that I have. This is my culture. You know, what <laughs> I mean, they didn't take my culture. Our culture has been here the whole time. You it's, know, it's yeah. hidden, it's buried, it's yeah. Right, yeah. right. It's here. It's here. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's just us tapping back into just ourselves, our original selves. Are yeah. you a vegetarian? I'm vegan. Vegan? Oh, he, Definitely. He, he, he did a step, step higher. He's vegan. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I saw some of the videos of you cooking. Are you going to start doing more of your cooking videos? Yeah, I actually stopped doing the cooking videos for a while just because I started focusing on my music more. Mm -hmm. But I seeing, I'm i seeing that it's good to do the cooking videos because it brings in a different um, crowd of people. You know what I mean? They come in for the cooking videos, and then I got my music there and just – everything else so it's, it just helps with the promotion and just bringing everybody in yeah it's like a full a full circle because you're right. helping with the with healing of the body with the food mm -hmm. right and then you're doing the vibration with the music definitely and then you know then i saw you did a kids video counting right. from one to what, 67 65 65 right. yes 
I that's what's like, up. Yes, I was like, what? <laughs> got his like, kids yeah. and everything. That's great. Yeah, because the internet, you know, the internet, we using the internet to now teach the kids. Like, you know what I mean? We The t- the kids is getting on the internet. They watching everything they watching. And my kids sometimes would be watching the counting videos. And I'm like, you know, we don't make our own videos so people can watch us. And so we just going to watch our own stuff, you know, and just be able to, for them to be able to see themselves. Because it's like, yeah. you know, growing up with this social media, it's like, you know, the kids nowadays, it's going to be different than how we grew up. They're going to be like, no, I want to get on. I want to get on YouTube. You know, we didn't have mm-hmm. that type of mentality. No. No. But now, you know, these kids, they want to be on Facebook. They want to be on, you know, YouTube and stuff. So, you know, I'm just helping them show, you know, just showing them a way how to do it, be positive with it, and just, you know, just just trying to be there, you know, to help cultivate their their dreams and what they want to do with themselves, you know. So now, if someone wanted to reach you on social media, what's all of your uh, social media uh, that you're on? Uh, I'm on I'm on Twitter. I usually don't be on Twitter, but I'm finna get back on there because that's just where <laughs> I started. I started on Twitter, and I used to just be clicking and sending to people all the time, just <laughs> clicking, sending, sending, and then I just stopped doing that. Um, and I, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. How do they find you on Facebook and on Instagram? What's your name on both? Mr. Lewis, M apostrophe S T E R. L E W I S, Mr. And Lewis. that's on both? That's on all of them, oh, on everything. Okay, yeah, cool. you could just Google it and it just, okay. everything should pop up. Or you can go to, to my Facebook page. And, or, the, and or that too. Yeah. Definitely. Um, mm-hmm. I was gonna say, do you have any upcoming um, events that you're going to be performing at? Um, yes, I, I'm, I'm going to be performing this next Wednesday at Mahogany with Cleo Cartel. I'm featuring for the day. You know, Mahogany does poetry there, they do it every Wednesday. So me and my brother Brazy, we're gonna be featuring that night. So okay, okay. very very cool. Y'all heard it here, folks. Yes, you check it, it out. Absolutely. So, um, if there's three things, now this is a deep question. Mm-hmm. Y'all ready? Get ready. ready. If there's three things you can change in the world, what would they be? Man, uh, I would change. I don't know. That's that is a that is a deep question. I do know, but I would change, you know, I would make the world more peaceful, you know, definitely make the world more peaceful. You know, and I feel like with the peace, um, that could just help a lot of things, but peace, you know, hunger, you know, definitely I would make us all vegans. Everybody vegan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Everybody. Got a whole bunch of cows right, <laughs> right. Pigs running around. Everybody okay. vegan. Everybody plant based. <laughs> oh, no, back I, to them. Back to that. Um, I know. I need some discipline in that area. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would. I would probably make it more peaceful world. Everybody vegan. <laughs> and uh, what else? I would let. I would let the women run the world instead of the men. Whoa. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. Queens, you hear that? Say that again. I didn't hear you right. What? I'll, I'll let the women run the world. Yeah, I like it. Hear that, Queens? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what to say, huh? Right. <laughs> oh, that was the that, that was my last little one. Like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Hoorah. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, so I've seen videos of you dancing and performing in old sack. Yes. Now, the first time you you did because this. To me, that's a bold move. That's something bold. Yeah. It takes courage. Definitely. You have to push your fear aside. The first time you ever did that, mm-hmm. how did that happen? What? Did, how did you feel? What took place? Man, well, that uh, the idea of it all started me dancing because I used to dance. I used to turf dance, and I'd be popping and tutting. Hop-a-locking. And I <laughs> used to do that in Oakland with uh, some of my brothers out there. And, you know, when I started to do music, I thought, I could do the same thing that I did out there, you know, just with the same, just getting in front of people, getting my, getting myself in front of people and trying to get directly to just the people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, I just thought, you know, let me go downtown, let me go to Old Sacks, because that's just where a lot of people are. Uh, no, it actually started on K Street. I was on K Street, uh, just where the, all the malls are and all the stuff, mm-hmm. all the little clubs, I mean, and then... Um, well, it was, it, was, it was definitely frightening for me to do, you know what I mean? Uh, I wanted to go with all the homies all the time. I'd just be asking the homies, like, hey, would you go with me For out your here? Support, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You Would you go out with me? I just, you could just stand there. I'm like, I'll give you some dollars if you just stand there uh. with me, you know, <laughs> just because I didn't want to be by myself. Uh-huh. And then over time, as they came and then they would leave and go do their own thing, I'll just be like, damn, this is kind of like me 
being out myself, being by myself out here, you know, I'm like, I can just do this by myself. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they kicked me out of um, K Street. The police was always kicking me out. Like, oh, no, you can't do this here. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I'm, really? I'm doing what y'all doing. I'm just, I'm spreading the peace. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it cool around here. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, they kicked me out, and then I just kept looking for another place. And I seen people doing it in OSAC, like some guitarists. Nobody, I haven't seen nobody rapping doing it, you know, but I seen some guitar people doing it, and I was like, yeah, I can come out here. And even there, they kicked me out a couple of times, Aww. but I just kept coming back. I was like, nah, because this is how I make money. This is how I, you know, connect with people and just get better with, you know, my performance and, and stuff like that. So, and I ain't got to wait on no promoters to be like, hey, we got a show for you. I'm like, nah, I can just yeah. keep doing this all by myself, you know. Yep. So how, pe how do people respond to you when you're out there? All types of different ways. I've got so many different responses. And that's why I love it, just because of that. Like, the re responses are so different than being in a performance like you know when you're performing it's just like people just watching mm -hmm. and then they're just like they clap and then they just wait for the next person or you know they it just it, sometimes people come up to you but like, hey good job good job you did a good the job connection but, is different right it's definitely different like out there like kids i get to see a lot of kids out there you know they would just be looking just they'll be watching their moms and stuff be trying to pull them like come <laughs> on come on like People, people just look at me. Sometimes they just look at me and just be like, you know, they give me that look like, what are you doing out here? Like, yeah. I could just feel the energy, you know? I could just, just based on their, just, you know, the way they're carrying themselves, how they looking. You know, they look at me just whatever. You know, people, they take pictures. People want to, you know, um, give me stuff. People just be giving me stuff when I'm out there. Just all time. So it's mostly positive. Yeah. It's mostly positive. That's yeah. Good. That's all I pay attention to. Yeah. <laughs> right. There you go. There, the there it is. He doesn't right. acknowledge the right. haters. You know what happened. It's out of his mind. Right, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, doesn't mm, exist. I'm doing my thing. Yes. <laughs> so I have a serious question for you before yes. we, uh, we're very close to wrapping it up. So you have three children? I have four. Four children. Yes, yes. So do you consider yourself a conscious being? Like really conscious and knowing of the and, be, and being mindful? Um, yeah, I would say I'm mindful. Um, just, I'm just me. You know what I mean? That's that's all. I'm just me. All those titles is just you know things that we come up with just to try to describe something. You know, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say I'm actually those titles, uh, right. but I try to be mindful. I try to be conscious. I try to do all these things. You know, everything. I try to be just better. You know, that's just yeah. what I so what I try you, to do. Do you teach your children? Like, what what do you teach your children to be? better to be the best adults they can be with the knowledge that you know um yeah i try to teach them about the food and how we how how i was raised and you know how nobody really knows you know too much it's just like we all just kind of just like was just they was like yeah do this do this you eat this and this is what you do and this is what time you go to bed and we all just just fell in line with it, you know, and yeah. we ne nobody really questioned nothing. Like, where does this food come from? Where what does it do to my body? Is it really healthy? They saying it's good for for me. So I just tell them just to yeah, be mindful of the food. You know, be mindful of of just everything. You know, I'm trying to teach them about skills more than um, just you got to go to school and you got to you know um, you got to have this certain type of job. You know, I I just try to make them focus on skills that that they can um, always be wanted in. You know what I mean? Like growing food, you know, building stuff, being an electrician, just anything that really, whatever it is they want to do. You know, they like dancing. They like doing all that type of stuff. And I I know that's going to come with life, you know. So it's just like I just want them to be just whoever they want to be. There you, go. you know, I, yeah. I tell them to do that. But I just try to guide them in the best direction. I'm just trying to set them up to win, really, you know, however okay. I can. Cause I feel like I wasn't really set up to win as much as I think I should have been, but you know, I'm just trying to set them up. Yeah. And you grow your own foods at home? Um, not all of them. Um, I go to the farmer's market and I also get a lot of food from the Israel family farm. That's where I actually grow food on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now where is that if someone wants to go? To, go oh, that's, in, that's an old park off of uh, Roosevelt okay. across okay. the street from the Fruit Ridge, uh, the Fruit Ridge School. I forgot what it's called. Um. Fruit Ridge uh, collaboration or something like that, but it's some school off of Roosevelt, which has yeah, an old park though. Okay. okay. Do you have any uh, questions you want to ask? Um, hmm. Where do you see yourself ten years from now, or even five? Man, f five, ten years from now, I see myself uh, 
just doing what I'm doing now, just on a more higher level, more structured, more more organized, you know, more business level. That's it. You know, I just see me doing the same exact thing because I really feel like um, I'm already successful with, with what I'm doing and I've already seen success, you know. It's like all the other things are going to come. I know they will. And so, yeah, I just want to continue to just get more consistent. You know, I got to be more consistent with what I'm doing, more organized. So, yeah, I see myself just running around here in Sacramento everywhere, <laughs> just, you, you know, spreading <laughs> this light. Go. All right, so tell people one more time, where can they find you if they want to get you on social media and about your upcoming events? If you want to find me again on social media, it's Mr. Lewis, M apostrophe, S-T-E-R-L-E-W-I-S. And my next event is going to be uh, Wednesday at Queen Sheba's on Broadway. It's an Ethiopian spot. You got to try it. It's good bomb. food, yes. I've been, there. I've been there. It's really good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for, for co-hosting with me for the our pleasure. first interview together with fun. Mr. Lewis. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So Queens of Queens Radio, thank you. Queen Maisha here. Queen. Queen Shavaka. Yes. And Mr. Lewis is here. Mr. Lewis. Yeah, I love Mr. Lewis. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace.